Hello there, Billy Reeves here. Welcome to K-Scope Podcast 103. In this episode, we hear from Mariana Semkina of I Am The Morning about their latest release, the intimate concert film entitled Ocean Sounds Out Now. We'll hear some backstage crunchy nut cornflakes banter from the K-Scope 10th anniversary concert at the Union Chapel and some exclusive live tracks recorded there at Plus an anathema classic from their Internal Landscapes collection. To start with, though, from Ocean Sounds, here's I Am The Morning and Touching. Before I forget the only thing I am What will you tell me to make me stay? Before I throw away the only thing I have And what will you tell me to make me stay? If there is a meaning in things we do, then where can I in? How can I find the clue? If there is a meaning in things we do, then where can I in? How can I find? Who touches and I Am The Morning. That's called Touching from Ocean Sounds, the new intimate studio film from the award-winning Russian duo recorded on a beautiful skeletal Norwegian island. Album of the Year winners at the Progressive Music Awards with their previous release, Lighthouse. Ocean Sounds includes the gorgeous film and high-res audio on Blu-ray, as well as the standard audio on CD presented in a digipack with a 12-page booklet. It's also available on heavyweight 180-gram vinyl with a printed inner sleeve. Now, I threw some questions at Mariana, me in Staines, her in St. Petersburg, and asked her to reply using her voice. Well, officially we call it uh, an intimate studio film. 
which describes it pretty much really. But I personally call it a life music experience for introverts. <laughs> because uh, it gives you a perfect opportunity to immerse yourself in our music, not in the middle of the crowd in some crowded venue, although we normally play in beautiful seated classical halls, uh, but uh, at home with a glass of wine and your favorite cat or something. Wow, I sound so old. <laughs> I personally wouldn't call it either an album or a collection of finest moments. This is just... Um, a collection of finest moments of this particular lineup, I'd say. Um, I'm the Morning, as you might know, is officially a duo, so we keep experimenting with the sound and with the arrangements, and we play with different musicians and different instruments. Um, but this particular lineup um, kind of stuck with us, and we played uh, a bunch of shows across Europe with it throughout um, 2015 and 16. So um, we grew to like it so much that we decided to capture it, just kind of seize the moment uh, on tape, because, you know, nothing beautiful ever lasts. So we wanted to um, kind of record it before it's over. <laughs> so I hope people will enjoy the experience. The whole thing was my idea, and it took me quite some time to persuade everyone to agree to do that. Um, I was secretly hoping to get to do something on ocean sound recording for a very long time. I first saw the pictures in, I think that was 2011, and I just kind of fell in love with it. And I realized that this is the dream place. This is a dream destination for the band. And we have to do something there at some point. Um, but I also knew that because it is so beautiful, and uh, the nature is so overwhelming that it has to do something with the video. So there has to be a video project and not just an album recording. And uh, it wasn't an easy task to bring everyone over there because we had a team of 10 people from five different countries and it was a bit of a logistical nightmare for me and our management from Glasswell Music. But um, yeah. The guys helped me a lot and we managed to sort it out. I've been talking to all of the guys uh, the other day and all of them said that they will be remembering the time we spent there and all the sunsets we saw there for a very long time. Because indeed it was so beautiful, we've been presented with the most marvelous gigs in the sky every night and <laughs> I found it difficult to concentrate at times because when you're surrounded by such beauty you kind of just want to immerse yourself in it and uh, I guess this is what we've been doing we've been embracing all of the beauty of the nature and this natural splendor and we tried to transform it into this creative energy and the music that we performed uh, the things that I can tell you about the future album is that it's um Heavily based on uh, Victorian England art and history, because I've been studying it a lot. So far I can tell you that we have songs about uh, Victorian freak show, flowers growing through a dead body, a drowning woman, people buried alive, and unicorns. So, yeah. I'm one of those people that just have to keep going and keep themselves busy, because they know that if they stop, well, nothing good will ever happen if they stop. And, uh, well, if I'm being serious, though, um, I'm receiving a lot of messages from people that are struggling uh, with their mental health issues, and sometimes they find it difficult to keep going, and they tell me that our music helps. And uh, this is one of the reasons, I think, that I help myself by helping others. And I hope that um, I will never run out of energy. Says 
to Mariana and thanks to I Am The Morning. You heard Inside and before that touching from Ocean Sounds, which is out now. Now, Gleb Collier-Din from I Am The Morning was one of the performers at the K-Scope 10th anniversary party. Here's some tunes from that spectacular evening, some sounds and a chat backstage. Firstly, though, here's Gleb with Steve Hogarth of Marillion and Hogarth and Barbieri with a track from Gleb's solo album entitled Best of Days. Let me call out in, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gleb Collier, Steve Hogarth, live 
at the Union Chapel. Right, let me take you backstage at the Union Chapel now. And it was Gleb was the first person I spoke to. Now, his partner in I Am The Morning, Mariana, couldn't make the Union Chapel show, but I wanted to grab a Gleb before going into the dressing room to ask him whether or not letting a film crew into the studio to record the intimate concert film Ocean Sounds had maybe let a little bit of light into magic? Uh, I don't think we have any any secrets because we just we just play in music and uh, we just uh, making all that we like. So so it's it's quite simple for us. How's Mariana? She's okay. She's uh, a bit uh, frustrated about uh, tonight's concert. Yeah, but uh, I tried to uh, support her, so she's she's okay now. Thanks, man, and congratulations. Do give Mariana our love. Let's uh, let's go into the uh, dressing room now and see who's there. Go on then, Lee. Say something in Scouse. Go on. That we wouldn't understand. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's lovely to see you. And, and what a beautiful venue. What a beautiful evening, uh, Lee Douglas. Uh, what have you got planned for us this evening? Because you've, open inverted commas, only got, close inverted commas, an hour. Well, I think you'll, you'll find uh, an, an hour's worth of wonderful, diverse, ambient, electronic, with violins, emotion, everything you can possibly pack in in 60 minutes. That's an ambitious uh, statement, which is uh, typical of your group, I think. What happens now with the group? Because it's been, you've been with the label a long time, right? There's a greatest hits package out. What happens next? What are the plans? Give me the secrets. Give me the exclusive. Well, I think also, like, maybe next year, I think we're due to do another album. and Maybe, hopefully, start recording in March. Okay. Um, not too sure on what, yeah, it's still going to get... Done, like you know what I mean. So the, uh, the, uh, the the brothers are very near each other now, aren't they? In London, does that help or does it hinder? Uh, are they getting on well? well no, they, do they see a lot of each no, other Dan, now? Danny's not there no more. He, oh, he's, he, he, he lives. No, he lives. He lives. The, he lives the bottom of our road. Oh, lives, he lives, so he's back lives, in Liverpool. He's living. He's living with the old anathema singer. The, is Adam? Is he? Yeah, yeah. The, he's, so, li- he's living up up on the. Uh, at the top. Because the last time I saw last time I saw them, it was a case of oh, oh I've got my studio in London and Vinny's just yeah. down the road, and that's how we're going to work now. It but used that... to be like that, but then um, it was getting a bit too expensive. I think oh, you know the cost of living because yeah. Danny was living in Canary Wharf at the time, mm-hmm. which you know, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, so we decided to move back up to Liverpool, oh, okay. and you know, just be close to me and our John as well. So that's been good, and so yeah. it's been cheaper to do you know like demos and stuff like that. You know mm-hmm. in 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 Danny's like sort of loft area Great. and so John can just go down the road as well so it's oh. just easier to get everyone together so Vinny's the one having to travel now then yeah, yeah. well it, it just makes it easy doesn't it you know when to get everyone together doesn't it you know John hey why is John why is he walking like that has he he's just um done a couple of poos <laughs> yeah it's a, I think he looks as though he's just about to have a poo um John are you just about to have are you all right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that makes great radio. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Lee Douglas. Now, <laughs> to my left, uh, Giancarlo Era, uh, all the way from the Mystic East. What can we expect uh, from you this evening? Are there going to be some tracks from your latest album, Allow Yourself? Yeah, yeah, there's going to be a couple of tracks from there and then a couple of tracks from previous ones. Yeah, so it's going to be a mix. Is this... Is there going to be any suggestion of how you're going to take Allow Yourself Out live when it comes to... Because you and I spoke about this as to whether or not you were going to mainly do the new stuff or you would have to do some old stuff as well. Have you had any further thoughts about that? Um, yeah, yeah. We already had some um, studio rehearsal with the band. So, um, it's good. I mean, it's quite good at the moment. It's very exciting. You know, we're just doing a very different... Um, we just changed our setup live. It's working very well, to be honest. In what way? No amps? Um, well, no, no, we still have amps. Well, it depends. We can do without, but, you know, because we're playing in Rome, that is our, our home. We're just doing, you know, the full thing. And, um, well, there are lots more of electronics and sequences and stuff, so it is, it is a richer, I think. Okay. Is, it much is, that, is that a bit riskier than having human beings? Is that, does that, oh, does that mean that more things can go wrong? Um, not really. I mean, we never had any problem. You know, we were anyway. We, had, we always used um, a combination, you know, a combination of uh, hardware synthesizers and computers on stage. So, 
It's just we're just changing the way we use them. But okay. we never, luckily, touch wood, we never had any problem. <laughs> Who's going to be playing tonight? Just you or other members? No, it's tonight. It's just me. It's just uh, it's very interesting. You know, um, I've never done it. I mean, usually I always play with someone else. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be interesting. You know, all acoustic and some effects and things. So just arrange the songs to go out there. Have you just met Gavin Esler yeah. off of Out of the Telly, yeah. the famous TV journalist? <laughs> what happened? Well. What happened? Oh what happened? Well, he walks in, and I haven't got my shoes on, and I'm making a bowl of Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Cornflakes, and like, I've been waiting to meet him all day, and my moment was ruined, and I had to make my apologies, go back out there, go put my shoes on, put my jackets on, put the Crunchy Nut Cornflakes down, and go back in, and then say hello, and by that time, I felt like Faulty Towers, Baz and Faulty, when he forgets his own name, he's so nervous. And his wife has to remind him, so uh, I'm just currently having a smoke and trying to calm myself down. <laughs> and my Hold family's on around it. Hold on. Uh, so there's crunchy nut cornflakes, Darren, off of out of God sticks, backstage, and you are going to allow yourself to eat them. No, I won't. Why not? Because I won't be able to stop. Because I've got no self-control when it comes to cereal. <laughs> I used to get around it, because I used to do the same, every single cereal I can't stop eating, even muesli. But Weetabix is different because it's, it's like a sugary. fixed amount. It's yeah. just a fixed amount. You look pretty stupid going back and forth. And I let them soak yeah. as well, which is so you're talking about. So now you're porridge. So now you're to, which is what my mum does with yeah. hot milk. And I don't do it with hot milk. I, I put soya milk on there, light soya light. Yeah, Alpro. Pro. Yeah. <laughs> Other it's an endorsement in this. Yeah. No, no, no. It's an endorsement. I'm yeah. So I saw light, let it soak for 15 minutes. Yeah. And I go and have a wash. During the God Sticks oh, tour, the winter evenings must just fly <laughs> by. Thank you very much. Uh, we've only been at Case Scott for a short while. But it is, it's, it is a great celebration. It's a, it has been a great, I'm not obliged and I'm not obligated to say it, but they have been extremely helpful to odd bands like ourselves who otherwise don't get much exposure. So we're, we're eternally grateful to K-Scope and everyone who works there. Um, we're going to do a track now. Uh, this is off our latest album, Face With Rage. It's an acoustic version of We Are Leaving. <laughs> Oh 
Sticks. Thanks very much for listening and a big thanks. Happy birthday, K Scope. Good night.
A huge thanks to everybody who came along and made the Union Chapel event possible, especially Tonto, our stage manager. You heard Gleb Kolyadin with Steve Hogarth, Best of Days, the original version of that is on Gleb's solo album. Giancarlo Error from No Sound, Saviour, the studio version of that is on No Sound's brand new LP, Allow Yourself. Then God Sticks from Cardiff with We Are Leaving, which can also be found on the album Faced With Rage. And finally there, Paul Draper with the early Manson classic The Chad who loved me. Now, Paul has announced the vinyl-only release of Attack of the Grey Lantern Live at the Ritz will be available on Black Friday, the 23rd of November. Now, before I go, can I just pause to say thanks for listening. We're honoured to be playing these artists. Uh, Please do support independent music by liking and sharing this podcast on whichever platform you listen to it on, and do please subscribe. Uh, Right, you heard Lee Douglas and Daniel Kavanagh of Anathema in the Union Chapel backstage chitter-chatter package. They, of course, closed the show, so let's allow them to close this podcast. They have a new release out now, Internal Landscapes 2008 to 2018. This is Anathema, featuring Anna Phoebe, a natural disaster, live at the Union Chapel. Ta-ta! It's been a long, cold winter without you. I've been crying on the inside over you. You just slipped.
Lee Douglas and Anna Phoebe, everybody, let's hear it. 